it was you know pretty all right I think as far as um, you have that close relationship but then um, didn't have too many flights. Carroll's was started by a bloke called John Carroll. He, uh, he was an Irishman, came from County Cavan and uh, came to Australia about 1878 and um, he uh, eventually got to Townsville and uh, started a boot and shoe emporium. He died in 1904 and that was the year my grandfather came to Townsville after uh, coming to Australia in the uh, early 1880s. When John Carroll died, um, my grandfather went there as a, a department manager first and then after the John Carroll's brother also died, it, uh, he became uh, manager for the Carroll family. And this was in the early, you know, 1904 to 1907 area. My grandfather just uh, bought it off them, basically. I think the uh, Matthew Rooney was his, uh, was the only uh, member of the Carroll Trust left alive and he would have known my, my grandfather I guess and uh, known he was capable of doing the job so he sold it to him the, or the trust sold it to him but, but he kept the name he was just an, a newcomer to Townsville in those days and whereas Carroll's had been there for 20 years and uh, he um, kept the name and that basically was, um, was the relationship with the Carrolls. My grandfather died in 1921, when my father was only 10. It was um, um, run by a trust from about 1921 till the early 30s. My grandmother was still, still, still alive and she, uh, she had an involvement. When my um, father grew up, he and his brother took over the business in the, in the 1930s and, uh, and then uh, probably in the 1950s I came into the business and uh, in the 1960s my brothers came into the business so it was a, f a family there was activity family activity all the time even after my father died I suppose it's working for your father and your uncle <laughs> it is probably always a, um, an interesting exercise but um, and I don't know how how my children would work with me, <laughs> but uh, but it's um, uh, we we seem to uh, get on all right, and uh, um, probably my uncle was probably one of my best friends. <laughs> Carol started off as a boot and shoe boot and shoe shop, but but had changed to a, a drapery come boot mart during the 1890s. Under under grandfather's control, it became more of a uh, a general soft goods department, not department store, I suppose you saw it, a soft goods retailer uh, with fabrics and, and clothing as well as boots. And boots were always a significant part of it uh, up until probably 50 years ago. There are a number of uh, soft goods shops in Townsville uh, and general shops sh like, um, like Carol's. There was, there was Heatley's, which was um, possibly a bit later. Uh, and English Smiths was another one, and McKimmons, which was started a little bit after Carroll's, but um, and there must have been a good trade, I suppose. In those days, Townsville was sort of uh, it was always the outlet for the mining and, and pastoral industries, and uh, Townsville was coming up, you know, and the economic side of it was was doing pretty well. Our main competition in the 20th century was. Um, uh, people like English Smiths, who were a, um, a similar size type of sh store, um, s selling similar type of stuff. Um, and uh, it was run by the Robinson family, Robertson family, sorry. And uh, we got on pretty well with them. And I think there was enough business for both, both of us. And McKimmons was sort of a bigger show. But I think you had to be on the ball, like my father, who took over from my grandfather in the 1930s, he always went to Sydney and Melbourne, bought clothing. You have to try to be ahead of the market in that respect. You, you go down there three or, three or four times a year and, and, and get on to stuff that's hopefully the opposition hasn't got. <laughs> so that was basically uh, one of the ways you'd try to keep, keep ahead of the, ahead of the uh, opposition. 
it was enjoyable and, and you, um, you made friends and probably in the other retailers around the place. Some of us used to all go to um, morning tea together, um, tassels and a bloke from Samuel Allen's and a bloke from the shoe shop, and different, mostly older than me. I was sort of the, the junior boy sitting on the outside, <laughs> but it was quite good. My father died in 1984 and he, uh, and that was probably at the time we, uh, of our uh, biggest um, turnover and that sort of thing, it was probably the early 80s. Um, by that time we had open shops in uh, the suburbs, basically we had one at um, Nathan Plaza, Stockland. Um, had one at Kmart for a while and had one at Vincent Village for Leong Shopping Centre. And uh, Dad died in 84 and uh, uh, probably that time we only had the stock, um, Stockland had bought uh, in the 80s. Actually I think the Stockland bought Nathan Plaza in the, um, 88 or something like 87 or 88 and, uh, um, and that um, they kind of seem to having quite a big shop there, which in retrospect, it probably we shouldn't have gone as big. <laughs> so we, we kept that till the uh, early 90s. But, um, but um, even after we sold the property, which is, we sold it to Chapman's in 89, mainly because Uncle John wanted to retire. And my brother, John, he, uh, he wasn't really active in the business. He was a partner, but not active. So it was only my, my brother Frank and I that, uh, so we uh, decided to open specialty shops. Probably one of the legacies of Carol's is probably the staff that we, you know, I think there's so many people we employed over the years and, you know, there's sort of, that's, um, they've affected, you know, we remember them and they remember us. I think that's probably one of the legacies. And, and it's still, um, I, I ran to someone the other day and they, they said, you know, and there wasn't a real old person. And uh, she, she, she knew, you know, she knew who I was and she obviously was a customer. So there was a lot of customers that, that we did have that um, uh, we were a part of their lives in some way, you know, and, and I think that was probably probably the biggest legacy that, that we'd have as far as uh, Townsville is concerned. Yeah. yeah, we took an ad in the papers sort of saying that we're closing and all that sort of thing. So that was sort of, to me, one, one of the sad things. Um, uh, even though we were starting off a new, uh, my brother and I were starting off new businesses, but I think that was the sad thing. Another sad area was the um, the depression years, which um, my father and my uncle were, were just taken over the business and the depression was on. And the staff those days would have to work days on and they'd take a day, a day off. They'd uh, work alternate days or, uh, you know, one, one might do the job one day and someone else does the job another day. And it's probably, not so different to part-time staff nowadays, but in those days it was, it, where everyone was full-time work, it, was, uh, it would have been a, a crunch for those people and also for, um, for, the, for the family. But, um, the, uh, um, the, the, the other times during the war was, uh, was tough probably in many ways. There was rationing and families were being evacuated our family was evacuated to Lismore, New South Wales, for a few months. We came back just in time for the council to get bombed. But, um, but my dad stayed there, my uncle was at the war, and, uh, and a lot of other people's relations were at the war. And it was, but then there was so many troops here, and probably business was good, <laughs> and, uh, but it was, it was it was probably uh, a, a battle, personally, for people in those days. But um, 
the happy, happiest part of it was just probably the relationships, relationships with the families, relationship with the, the staff, relationship with the customers.